Hi there, Church on Mainers. Quick announcement to you. Feels like a long number of months since we first started doing this kind of announcement. Here I am again. And there are a couple of things which uh, are important for us in the season. Number one, it's a delight to have you coming back to meetings at the mill. And we're reveling in that. We're enjoying the fact that we're, we're able to have public worship, corporate prayer, at those occasions, the preaching of the word with people gathered, it's, it's made it much easier for those ministering for one. Also delighted in our tech team who are enabling us to stream at the same time, which means that not everyone has to come, which is, is amazing. Thanks to the tech team. With regard to our meetings going forward, though, we have been, uh, some of us, a little slack in terms of our mask wearing at meetings. We, we're going to have to insist on that now because it is a legal requirement for us. And in view of the fact that some of the nations have had a, a circumstance where they've had a spike in COVID cases, and uh, we don't want that here in Cape Town or in South Africa, and we certainly don't want it in our church community. And uh, so out of respect for each other circumstances, here, I want to ask you, please, if you can wear a mask at the meetings and keep your mask on, or in fact, we're going to have to insist on that. Uh, thank you for your uh, cooperation in that regard. So that's with regard to mosques and our meetings. Of course, in the coffee shop area, we're having a coffee afterwards or a glass of water or whatever. You can feel free to lower your mask and enjoy that moment in that way. People will understand that. Also, we've learned from one or two other churches that uh, some people want to come to meetings, but they feel particularly vulnerable. Perhaps they are working in the medical profession or have diabetes or whatever it might be, or, or go home to loved ones who are staying at home, isolating because of their particular circumstances. Well, then you could wear a red armband and that would indicate to people, please don't hug me, keep your distance from me. Um, and then for the rest of us, let's try and honor what the protocols are. So sanitize as you come in the door. Please don't come if for any reason you've been sick or are worried about your particular health conditions, etc. Please stay away uh, and let's keep things safe so that we can continue enjoying the space that we're in in that regard. One or two other announcements. You might be wondering about our treasure house and the children gathering. Well, a couple of the neighboring churches in the southern suburbs here in Cape Town have decided that they're going to go from three upwards. And we've been having all sorts of discussions. We've got wonderful venue space. We've got the mom's room, the treasure house facility and various classrooms, etc. So we're looking at opening up when the new term starts. That's the 8th of November. And uh, that'll be carefully monitored and we'll send out a letter to all the parents in that regard. So you might want to earmark that date. And the run-up will be towards a nativity place situation, which the children will be prepped for and trained for. And uh, Angie James is running with that. She's got a team of helpers there and, and they're working towards that. So Treasure House, 8th of November. In the interim, we've got kind of COVID care happening for the children, age-appropriate um, material being screened or someone um, giving them a Bible story and of course yes Christian content happening at the same time we have a big prayer moment on the first Wednesday of November which is the 4th of November and we'd be delighted to have you if you log in online book your space and come we want to pray with you and that will also be handled in our big facility and then you may be wondering about our year end event which was announced for our deacons for our leaders uh, that is on pause for the moment, but we're just assessing as to what we could do with that occasion. You will have heard that last week we um, postponed youth for two weeks or took a recess as a precautionary measure, not because we know of anyone who's got COVID in the community, but just to stand in solidarity with other institutions, the schools in our southern suburbs area because of various events where there were kind of super spread of things happening. So with regard to this coming Sunday, be a delight to see you again. You've heard what I've got to say about masks, about the treasure house, about big prayer and about the year end. Thanks for listening to me.